image, you can see how my front cover fits nicely against similar covers featuring indie artists. Most indie rock magazines use the mid shot or a close up of a singular person. It simply allows the reader to see the type of artist that the music magazine features. The idea is to have more authentic body language rather than posing. Many of the magazines involve shots that do not show the clothing very well. But like you see in NME and my magazine IRM, a hat, a blouse and a waistcoat is an appropriate fashion type for my social group. The language I use in my magazine is more informal. This is because it's generally the way my social group would write or would like to see. I also use some swear words in my double page said, only certain social groups use. Normally in indie rock magazines, there is a live section that includes concert information. This represents my social group because it is something that they do in their spare time. Most teenagers see concerts as a way to socialise or get intoxicated. However, those of an alternative group choose to go for the music. Like I said before, my target audience are more interested in the music. Therefore, by adding missing scene, like a microphone in my double page spread, it attracts them because they're more likely to be talented musicians looking up to the magazine. This magazine is a perfect representation of my social group and how the artist's makeup represents them. For example, this includes eyeliner and dark hair. This is something I've embedded into my magazine as well. The use of black, red and white in this magazine is something that attracts my social group, especially the image. She is very fashionable and on trend, like my target audience. If I could describe my social group in one word, it would be to say that they're unique. It also brings diversification. Like this magazine, I've never seen one like this, but it was nice to have this influence my magazine, as the colours that I have used are more courageous, which allow me to experiment with colours on mine. Like Enemy, I have also represented an indie rock social group by the headlines and stories I have used. For example, there is a live section in my contents page. This represents an indie rock social group as it shows their hobby. Like Florence and the Machine, the image I have used on my magazine of an artist is part of an indie rock social group because of the way they dress, so my target audience could relate to the artist in the magazine. Finally, the age group that I have decided to focus on is teenagers and young adults. I have presented them in a way that doesn't show them as thugs or violent, which is what the media usually presents them as. In my magazine, they are presented as young, talented people that are determined to achieve their goal. I know that indie music is very popular with the age group 15 to 25 year olds. As I fit into this age group myself, I know what me and my friends would want to read about in a magazine. I also knew how appropriate Miss and Scene was by thinking about what I would expect to see in an indie magazine myself. I also based the price on the age group as I know people from this age group don't have a lot of money because they're students studying at university or college. I've presented an indie social group in my magazine which could be classed as hipster. These people wear indie old fashioned clothing and listen to indie music such as The Smiths and Jamie T. I've presented these people by dressing my model similarly to how these people dress. However, I have not represented people from other social groups as this would not be relevant in my an indie magazine. My target audience is indie music fans who wear these sort of clothes and listen to this sort of music and will go to rock indie festivals in the summer. Therefore I've done my best to represent these people in my magazine. Lastly, indie people tend to be middle class as the clothes can be expensive and the lifestyle going out can be expensive too. So in this case I've represented the middle class but not a lot. I have not represented any other classes though. My target audience is middle working class as these people are more likely to read my magazine and be interested in indie music and the articles featured in my magazine. People of this social class can come from very different backgrounds but would still attend concerts, live gigs and festivals.
I have featured articles about concerts and festivals in my magazine to interest my target audience. My media product represents an indie rock social group by the use of images, stories and the genre of music that is present in my magazine.